Hello fellow gamers and I'm playing Fortnite Save the World and I thought I would um, do a video about some ideas that um, I've had uh, for improving uh, Save the World. Uh, you're going to like these. I haven't pinched any of these um, ideas from any other YouTuber or anywhere else. They are all my own ideas. So my first idea is a blast from the past llama. So once a week when the store items change, you can buy one blast from the past llama for 500 V bucks. If you've logged in and played every day for the past week, then the llama is half price and only 250 V bucks. In this llama, you are guaranteed one hero or one melee schematic or one ranged weapon schematic of at least epic rarity or better of any item that or hero that has appeared in the game to date, whether it was a mission reward or store bought item. The reason that I mentioned about it being half price if you had logged in and played the game in the previous seven days is because um, there is no reward system for those of us who play the game daily well, apart from the the, um, the daily 50 V buck challenge. While on the subject of rewards uh, there needs to be no limit for the time based rewards where you can win a uh, weapon or trap schematic. Uh, because you only allowed a certain amount of these a day. Plus, how about increasing the mission reward each time you play that mission while it is active? Uh, say, for example, the reward is for 5 Malachite and 10,000 Hero XP. Play that mission again and the rewards increase to 6 Malachite and 11,000 Hero XP. And then 7 Malachite and 12,000 Hero XP and so on. The more you play the game, the more your mission rewards increase. Another idea, uh, once a day you have the option to do a mega quest. In this 4 player recommended quest you can earn 500,000 schematic XP or 500,000 hero XP or 500,000 survivor XP. Now this is enough to level up a weapon to level 130 or a hero to level 130. This is providing of course you have the other items required, the pure drops of rain, lightning in the bottle, storm shards etc. Now the lag, especially when new players join your game, needs to be sorted out. Seriously. I'm sure I'm not the only one who has gone off the map and died on my hoverboard just from someone new joining the game. One of the biggest issues with this game is AFK players. I hate it when you've just loaded into a mission and another player is either not moving or spinning around on the spot. Epic Games are rewarding AFK players with mission rewards and this needs to stop. What I propose for AFK players is pretty drastic, but something like this needs to be done. If a player is AFK for three minutes, a warning flashes up on the screen saying you are AFK. And this includes those who have auto run enabled and are just spinning, spinning around on the spot. Another warning flashes up 10 seconds later saying inventory drain has started. For every second that the player is AFK, they lose 10 metal. Once their metal has run out, they lose um, 10 stone instead. And once their stone has run out, then they lose 10 wood a second. Then once all of their metal, stone and wood has been taken away, it moves on to the player's ores and crystals. So if, for example, uh, the AFK player had 120 Malachite in their infantry, they would lose one Malachite a second and would therefore have no Malachite left in their infantry after two minutes. The inventory drain would continue for one minute after the AFK player decides to actually play the mission. The extra minute of inv inventory drain will discourage players from going AFK in the first place. Now I play Save the World 10 to 15 hours a day sometimes and I lose count of the number of AFK players there are. These AFK players are spoiling the game for those of us who do play this game properly. 
it is times like this when I wish I was a big YouTuber, as I know it is highly unlikely that anyone who works at Epic Games will see this video. I consider myself to be an average gamer, but and it is a big but, um, insert your own jokes now, I have been a gamer since the dawn of video games. In other words, I've been gaming for over 40 years. In fact, I still have my PS2 console, my PS3 console and my PS4 consoles. And I've played many hundreds of games over the past four decades. So I'd like, uh, you've heard my views on um, what I think could improve the game. I'd, I'd like to hear what your views are. So um, leave a comment saying what you think could be improved um, or um, even leave a comment saying what you think they've, Epic Games have done really well. Um, thank you for taking the time to watch this video don't forget to smash that like button if you're new to my channel then why not subscribe hit the bell notification symbol and you'll be notified when i publish new videos on youtube if you'd like to help out my channel then you can do so by uh, sharing my videos on social media you know, facebook and instagram etc um and tell all your friends about my channel you know that's that's um that's how you know it really helps to to grow a channel and uh, you know the more people that um get to know about your channel the better uh, i've had a few people in the last last uh, week or so that um have said they like my voice so that's uh, pretty reassuring um uh, that uh, people do like my voice um if you'd like to help out my channel financially i do have a patreon account and you can pledge from just one dollar a month and the link to my patreon is in the description of all of my youtube videos many thanks for watching and we'll also see you guys in the next video bye bye for now <laughs>